Let's complete our loom with the extra pegs. Just to make sure the groove is turned to the outside of the loom. Just place the peg in the hole between the standard pegs and hammer gently. Make sure the extra peg is leveled with the standard pegs. Insert another extra peg. Gently hammer. Yeah, that's quite easy. It's all leveled, okay? If you, for some reason, want to remove the extra peg again, you just place the fork of the hammer and make this movement and then you remove it. You took it out. Yeah? Let's put back again because I want to complete this loom to make a ch children's hat. Last peg. And it's done. You have the loom complete. Well, let's show you how to pass the yarn, the wool, through the yarn guide. This white straw that comes with the loom and many people ask me what it is. Just put a cotton thread and, and give a little knot. hold in the thread and in the needle. Now we can thread through the yarn guard, yarn guide. Yeah. See, just thread here and you pull it out. Then you just remove this thread. Make a slip knot the wool. Place the slip knot in the first peg. I use a stitch marker, very scary stitch marker, in the first peg. Place the slip knot in the first peg as well. And let's start your wrapping. Always pull the yarn like an inch away from the peg and then you don't have too much tension in the yarn, you see? I like to use my finger to hold, hold, hold the yarn, make it wrap, pull an inch away and then wrap, pull an inch away, and then wrap, and let's go, let's wrap every peg using a DK yarn, yeah, pull an inch away, and then you wrap, pull an inch away, and you have yarn to your wrap. Finishing your wrap, the first row. Yeah. And then you're going to continue your wrapping here. Just in a circle, okay? We are doing the E-wrap custom. 
It's a very easy way to cast on in the knitting looms and it will work very well for the hat, a woolly hat, when you are going to make a brim, then it's good to use a e-wrap cast on. These two loops are going to make the cast on row. And continue wrapping around the loom. Now finishing the second loop in each peg, you just leave this down here, and you take the bottom loop over the top in the last peg. This was my first peg, but then, as I told you, we wrap anti-clockwise and they remove the stitches from the peg uh, clockwise, okay? And then this is one peg before last. Take the bottom loop over the top loop and off the peg. That's the way you make your stitches. And let's do the same all the way around. We are now finishing the first row of stitches, taking the bottom loop over the top loop and off the peg. Okay, that's my first peg, and then I have just one loop in each peg. I would like to make at least 10 rows to make the brim. Then let's count the rows. I count, I finish the first row that's registered you now. Okay, and then we continue to wrap. Start by the first peg. Where is the stitch mark? Yes. Yeah, make it the second row. And we are going to complete 10 rows. And then we will turn to make the brim from this only hat and we return to show how to join another color of yarn before we close the brim. We are finishing the row number 10. Take the bottom loop over the top and off the peg. Okay, the last one. Okay. Now you have the 10 rows. Yeah, now finish. Register the 10 rows. Now we are going to make the hat bring. To make the hat bring, I get the first stitch in the row, the first row, and a place in the first peg. But before before doing this, we are going to join the purple yarn to make vertical stripes. We just tie the, the cotton yarn in the wool.
the wool is threading the yarn guide now and they can take this cotton thread out okay. then you make a slip knot make a slip knot in this purple wool and you're going to place in the first peg where is the scary stitch marker let's put in here you just leave a little little loose not to tie too much okay then you'll be one yarn here the other one and we are going to go around e wrapping every peg with this purple yarn then you make a more clear line when start the vertical stripes just e wrap Let's go wrap every peg. This is a decay yarn. This loom completed have 62 pegs. Okay, you are in the last peg. You're going to leave here. Now, both of the yarn are here in the same peg, the orange and the purple. purple. Leave this here and you're going to choose where I start here. The first is stitch, you see? You're going to place this in the first loom, in the first peg. Where is the stitch markers? But then I will place this yarn in the middle here. I will hide with the purple as well. They should be hidden here. Okay, it will be like this. But this is the first stitch. Then grab the next one. This because it's too close, it would be good to use the looming hook. And can you see the stitches? They have two threads. If you use just the outside one, you'll be enough. You'll be enough. Okay, you don't need to put both in here. You can, but you don't need it to. Just this one. Just one. And you replace every stitch. Let me try to give you a close up. Is this yarn shine too much in the camera? This one. Put inside here. Yeah. Inside here. That's true. Let me see if I turn. Is it for me to show? There are two, two thread this stitch. Don't need to pass through. Just pass the outside one. In the, in the peg. Place in the peg. Just here. 
This is one stitch, you see? One stitch to get just this side of the wool and placing here will be enough. See? Let's go over one. the brim of our hat. Let's come here. Yeah. Continue here. Remember I told you those threads are hidden here. Yeah, we've been hitting there nobody you see anymore. That's the beginning of the yellow, the orange yarn and the beginning of the purple yarn. You just hide the yarn tail inside the brim. If you forget, you can thread the wool needle and put in there. Yeah, finish ever stitches on, see? And what are you going to do now? You're going to start it knitting by the last peg, peg as I always do. Yeah? You're making this row to close the brim First, take the purple yarn and then you get the orange. You have a more chance to hide better the purple instead you get both together. Get the purple first, press over and then you get the orange. Okay? Take the purple loop over the top and of the peg and then you come the orange loop and do the same because you, you hide a little better now we are going to finish the first Actually, it's not the first row. You are closing the brim. Until now, you don't count as a row. You are just closing the, the brim. Yeah, then the first peg. first and then the orange okay we close the brim and look the effect already uh, I will start by the first peg of purple and then every extra peg the pink one I will wrap okay and the red peg will be wrapped by the orange yarn. I'm always using my finger to hold. Don't, don't put pressure in the yarn. Just to give a distance of an inch. And then you have loose yarn to wrap your peg. You make your life easy. And the fabric in the hat look much more relaxed. Looks prettier. You can see better the stitches. Okay, that's the last pink peg. Leave this for now. And then we will continue with this 
next sheet pink peg but I'll stop it here for now and now we are going to wrap one other peg with the orange here then let's start with the red one yeah and every other peg every red peg will be wrapped with an orangey wool can you see will be the stitch from this row upwards will be orange and purple will be different then we are going always wrap the pink peg of the purple and the red peg of the orange until the top of the hat let's continue wrapping here you wrap and just miss the pink peg you wrap the red oh, miss the pink peg you wrap the red again miss the pink you wrap the red that's the way you'll be in the back okay just doing like this this is the first row after the brim this is where we decide the vertical stripes you need to have a even number knitting loom because it will be one stripe of one peg of it, each color like this loom the red loom is 31 peg but when we add the pink color the extra pegs to complete the loom it becomes 62 pegs then is if uh, is even number oops there is the last one here this is yarn in the front but here is the last peg yeah. then the purple yarn stopping one before the last and the orange yarn stopping the last and you're going to knit in clockwise take the bottom loop over the top and off the peg take the bottom loop over the top and off the peg finishing the first row after the brim yeah and then let's get to the tally counter you are in 10 here we need to reset And then register the first row now you know put everything down and you're ready to start in the first bag with the purple come from this bag one before the last that's the pink bag you are going to re-wrap miss the red peg and you wrap the pink peg now we will appear the vertical stripes you see because you have just the same color in both finishing the purple pegs leave the yarn guide here and take the orange thread again oops 
other side. And let's do starting by you wrapping the second peg. The yarn is in the last peg ready here. And then you're making the second loop in the second peg, yeah? As I showed before, you just miss the pink peg and you wrap the red pegs, one other peg. And it's happening now the vertical stripes, you'll be one purple and one orange. Finishing wrapping the red pegs with the orange. That's the last peg. And just show you the, the yarn here. And we are going to make these tips. Just to make sure they wrap it. Look at this last peg here, don't miss it. Now is a wrap. Let's fit two. Okay, it's two loops in each one. Where they finish. Okay, and they start to wrap, uh, starting make a stitch, another row. This will be the first row for the real colors, yeah? Just your purple in one and just your orange in another, okay? We are completing the second row for the brim after the brim and we have in this row and, and push down and you have just purple or orange color in the pegs to register here the new row the second row yeah. let's continue to wrapping and in middle of the the hat crown I show you how it's the seam between the brim and just the rest of the hat. I just finished the row number 10 and we already, we already can see the stripes developing and the line after the rim looks very neat. Yeah. And you can see your vertical stripes forming red. Okay, let's continue this wrapping. Just you wrap the pink pegs, every other peg with the purple. Get this purple in there and complete this row for the orange. That's the last peg. Start you you're wrapping the red pegs. Mm -hmm. 
and the last pack in this row. Oops. Here is the purple and this is the orange. They stay here. Hold it tight. And we are going to make these teats taking the bottom loop over the top and of the peg. Yeah. You take the stitch clockwise in the loop. You don't need to put too much tension in the yarn. That's why it's good to use the yarn guide. Because then the yarn just you run free through the yarn guide and you don't put too much strange strange in the yarn around the pegs when you make the stitches. Okay, and you finish register another row. You have eleven rows in here. And you pull everything down. Yeah. Make a very happy Halloween hat in here for vertical stripes. Okay, we are going to meet each other again when you were casting off, finishing the crown. Okay, in the hat. See you later. We are going to complete the row 26 and then we are going to cast off our Halloween hat. 26 rows are enough for a 6 year old child, but if you need at least 30 rows, 32 rows would fit better a 9 year old child. finish now and I show you how to cast off just registered but 26 row you can make it longer or shorter if you would like but it's just showing the way I need. just want to to have yarn enough, I will give you two rounds in the loom. And then I will cut. It will be okay. You can the two yarn in the old needle push the two yarns in the old needle and the first pegs always is a little uh, harder to to thread but then then you'll be all right Okay, let's start for the last two, first one here. Take, put to the needle, the first peg, and take for the peg, and pass the wool through the loop. Let's do in the same in every peg. Just a loop here. And just take the, the loom out of the peg. 
can't take it here. It's, it's becoming easier and easier as you remove. You can you can just shame. Pull a little bit here. Take it out. And then thread. Okay. Those are the last pegs you're taking out of the loom. Hold the last one, otherwise you'll miss it. <laughs> because it's too loose now. Hold here. Yeah. Now it's secure. Okay. Now we have cast off the Hat from the loom, and you are going to to pull the thread pull this thread all the way around yeah. let me just spread the tension here to avoid to break the, the yarn. Yeah, it was sorry. You just close the hat. It's almost like a four sections. Yeah, and then you're going to thread from here to here, and then from here to here, from here to here. Let's go around to make sure very secure and be careful don't to leave this uh, any any hole in here in the middle you need to pull very tight yeah now now it's closed okay we have the two colors yarn here just to go the other side to the hole yeah then you secure won't you appear because you're using the two colors will be all right yeah just make from there to here no I'm going from here to there Yeah, it's pretty safe. Yeah, very close. Turn away the other way around. I just should go around some stitches in here. Yeah. 
give a knot to hold it tight. safe. I'll leave a little longer because sometimes I like to use the thread to, if I want to add a pom-pom, I will give you a knot in this wool from the hat as well to hold the pom-pom better. Yeah, hooray! You have your Halloween hat done and you can teach your children. Oh. If you are a child, you can learn on your own, just to watch in this video. It's very good. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you in our next project.